Hey guys! Hi! It's been a long while since I have made a new YouTube video. Welcome! I'm very excited to be back with new art and new content. Today's video is sponsored by RTX. They were kind enough to send me their newest sets of acrylic markers for our review. And honestly, I have had my eyes on these markers for a while, so I was very much looking forward to try them out. When I opened up these sets, I was surprised to see that they come with sticker labels that you stick onto the markers in order to know which color are you using. It was definitely a little time consuming to do this, but it was also weirdly therapeutic to just play around with stickers. Uh, once I was done with going through all the labels, I appreciated having these numbers to identify each color. It just makes everything so much easier when you're painting. Both sets contain 60 colors. The blue box is the 60A regular colors and the pink box is the 60B anime colors. When I started to swatch out these on my sketchbook, I was honestly very impressed. You can see how the paint is very juicy and lays down very smoothly on the paper. The colors are very vibrant but in a good way. There are a lot of different beautiful tones and lots of pastel shades too, which I personally really, really like. Some colors are specific of each set, like the fluorescent and metallic markers that you only get on the 60A set. But I noticed some other colors are repeated on both sets, so that's something to keep in mind if you are interested in getting this at some point. Before filming the drawing process you will see in this video, I have already used the markers quite a lot just to get familiarized with them and also because I was just too impatient to wait. So I just wanted to quickly show you some sketchbook spreads I did using these RTX markers. I just love so much the effect you get with acrylic markers, it's very graphic but painterly at the same time, almost like if you were using gouache. So yeah, for this drawing session, I asked my followers on Instagram for emoji combos suggestions to draw. This is something I have done a couple of times in the past already and it's always so much fun. It's just a really fun exercise that literally boosts your imagination and makes you draw stuff that you normally wouldn't. And the best part for me is that whenever I draw these prompts, I always end up filling a bunch of pages, which is a huge win-win situation for me as a sketchbook enthusiast. I also get a lot of questions of how I plan my sketchbook spreads to make them look cohesive. And the truth is, I don't do much planning, but I thought it would be interesting to show you guys my process on how I approach these compositions from sketch to finish. I think the best part of acrylic markers is that they allow you to go back and forth whenever you made a little mistake or you want to fix something. They are actually very forgiving due to the opaqueness of the ink and I love them for that. These RTX markers are pretty good on that aspect. Some colors are more opaque than others, but I kinda expected that. And as someone who relies heavily on line work, it's definitely better if I don't cover up completely my lines, so I don't really mind. Another thing I was the most excited about trying these markers is the brush tip. It is so convenient compared to the Posca system where you need to constantly shake your markers to activate them. I think the brush tip is truly a game changer. It's just, it's just easier and more fun to paint with.
As juicy as these markers are, during this process I found a couple of colors to be drier than others and I noticed the paint didn't flow as smoothly as it did at the beginning. I particularly struggled with the bluish violet color for the background. It probably has to do with the fact that I have been using these markers a lot before filming this. Um, maybe it's something that happens to specific colors, I don't really know. But it felt a little bit too soon to start worrying about that. In any case, I am curious to see how long this will last. I will continue to use them because I really love them. And I will just hope for the best, hope that they will indeed hold on for a long time. But yeah, despite that, I think these markers are just great. So fun to work with, so easy to control, easy to blend. They don't bleed through the page. Um, as I said before, they are very forgiving and stress-free, at least for me. I tend to use color pencils on top and a lot of different fine liners and pens and it always end up looking pretty good. So yeah, I really recommend this to everyone interested in trying out acrylic markers.
And back to the drawing, these spreads are very random if you ask me, but I think that's the beauty of it. As you can see, I love playing around with shapes for the backgrounds, lots of washi tape and stickers. I think washi tape and stickers always look so cute. I also love adding little phrases and words on all the empty spaces of the page and that makes everything look so much put together. I think my secret is just to add stuff, you know? Work around what you already got on the page, see what you can incorporate until the page feels balanced and fun enough. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I never do much promoting of my work, but recently my very first art book got polished and it is my baby. I have poured so much love and effort to it, so if you guys want to check it out and hopefully get a copy for yourself, um, I will leave the link below. Uh, yeah, I will see you on my next video, which will hopefully come very, very soon. Cheers!